So, um, welcome Louis to the latest edition of our podcast. Good to have you here. Great to be here. And I'm here as well. Um, it's not a bit of a mess up for the start of the podcast in that we rocked up without any <laughs> microphones and I forgot to bring the bag of the tripod. There's no And uh, here comes somebody with a cup of coffee and hopefully a beer as well. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll carry on as we are. Yeah. There's a notebook outside. Oh, there's a notebook outside. Yeah, no, I don't need notes no. for this. This is all going to be fantastic. Cheers, Cheers, Will. Will. Thank you. Cheers, Will. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Will. Um, so, uh, Louis, you, you might have seen a few of these before. I know you said you hadn't earlier when we took you off camera. But I reckon that's all a lot of confidence. <laughs> right. I reckon you've been studying all of them yeah, to see yeah. what people have said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you have it. We can see mates later. So you're going to be like any of those. This that's is going to be all. deadly serious. <laughs> yeah. So I want you to get your head on. And I want you to think about every question because it's going to be analysed yeah. theoretically. Going to train in like Yeah, so a bit of crap on. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> so first of all, Louis, um, what you, you've obviously got injured in that first game of the season with a big frustration, yeah, yeah. and you are recovering and getting yourself back to fitness. You obviously watched a bit from the sidelines, and you're on the bench on Saturday. Um, what's it been like for you? Just Frustrating, but what else would you say? Yeah, it's, it's frustrating being injured, but it's, it's frustrating for anybody. But um, I don't know, watching us struggle to find a bit of rhythm. We won two on a bounce, we probably should have won, should have won three um, against 74 at home. No disrespect to them, but I thought we, you know, it's a, it's a game that you should really be looking at, looking at to win. Um, yeah, it's just frustrating being able to see all the pictures that I'd be seeing on the pitch. and Hopefully, making stuff happen myself, but it's the way it is, isn't it? You got to, uh, you just got to crack on and get yourself back fit. But yeah, that's the, just the main thing. It's just frustrating because you can't push yourself too far or too quick to get back in. It's just is what it is. How are you doing at the moment, Steve? I'm, uh, I'm pretty, pretty much, yeah, fully, fully back fit. Um, someone doesn't see, <laughs> someone didn't see the uh, last week. She said I might be another week off or something, but I feel fine. Yeah, I feel. Feel good, just a bit of sharpness getting back into it. But of course, it's yeah, the of having six weeks out is what it is. Isn't it? Training helps, obviously, getting into that, being able to close out, go full tilt in that. So, um, someone told me you had this thing called like a compartment injury. So, yeah. what I want to know is which shots don't you like? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that not what it is? <laughs> no, it's not. I'll write it. You better tell me what it is. Then. Okay. It's, um, so, I had my muscle tissue around the calves was too tight. So um, the calves couldn't expand. Um, and I'm not saying I had calves that were too big for me on good, but every time I tried to run, it was like, it was just like cramp. So it came on so, towards the end of last season. I just couldn't. I was in the warm up. I was having to sit out after running for, for two minutes. Yeah, um, I had that problem actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah it's quite common to be fair. Isn't it? But, yeah, I just had to rest it for about I think it was ten weeks. I had to rest. Sit, sit it out, which was also frustrating. But luckily, that was in uh, that was in pre-season, so I managed to uh, get myself back for first week game week and then done this. But uh, you feel it going straight away? Yeah, I just yeah. it was like a as soon what you want the mean first game week the injury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah as soon as I've done it, I just it just my head nearly hit my shins. I come I come that far over my knees, and I just like do you know what I thought it was a lot worse than it was. Um, but that happened to me when I came home on Friday night last week. Really? And my head almost went over as I come through the front door with my shoes and all. Yeah, yeah. So it's followed by a boot up the backside from the missus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, yeah. late yeah. fitness stuff. Sorry. <laughs> Serious head back on. No, yeah. Um, I thought it was a lot worse than it was because I couldn't put any weight on it at all. It was, it was one of those with your knees and your ankles and stuff, you, you never know, do you? You can never, never be too sure. But then luckily I got a scan relatively quick. The results came through that last week, and I'm, I'm good to go. So, so Luke, tell us something about yourself uh, away from football. Start to about um, growing up as a lad, or uh, you know, you yeah. obviously played a bit of sport as well. So, yeah. uh, what about your background? Growing up as a lad, my dad coached me um, from must have been four till I reckon ten years old. Um, and that's that way you keep getting all the injuries. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. You didn't, uh, <laughs> didn't, didn't teach me. Like, they can't see him, but we can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, my dad coached me, and then uh, mind that. <laughs> my dad coached me until about ten, um, and then I went. So I was still playing grassroots, but I was at Port Vale's development squad on Tuesday night. 
um, and then we played against the academy one night. Um, I think it was under 11s or felt like going into under 12s. I remember and then I had a good game against the academy. Um, they put me in like a six-week trial with them, and then they yeah. ended up signing me from there. But mm -hmm. I was playing centre midfield then, and I think it was Andy, who, Andy Porter, who signed me. He took one look at my dad, who's six six, and said, "Andy, you play centre half for us, mate." Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you you play centre half more. more. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I slowed down a bit now, but yeah, centre half ended up playing there. See, because you played all over them, you really. Yeah, you played, played like. centre half, and then played right back for them for a little bit. Um, and then when I was released from there at 15, I was here for a bit in the under-16s. I came here for about six months, just um, as I was looking at options and stuff. I ended up at Connors Key in the Welsh Premier League. Yeah. And there I ended up playing centre-half, right-back, and, and um, yeah. I ended up playing uh, right-back and centre-half for, for Wales schoolboys and, and Wales colleges as well. So centre-half, right, I've played left-back a little bit as well. But, to be honest, I'd back myself to play to play either side. Have you got a preferred position? Right, right back, I reckon. Yeah. Right back, right yeah. back is where I've where I've stabbed myself in the most games, I reckon. Yeah, right back. Well, we saw you last year at Leek away pushing forward a bit. Too. Yeah, I was so right in the front three. Really. Yeah, when I came to, when I came to Newcastle, I was right in the front three. How did that happen? Or well, when I was when I was at Connors Key, uh, I was in my second year scholar. Um, Run Corn Linux put seven days in for me then, so I went there. Um, and I wasn't getting, wasn't getting the game time. I was, I was expecting to really with the, the conversations that I had to, to get me there in the first place, and I was, I was a bit frustrated with that. Um, and then the game times that the game time that I did get, I was playing out of position. I was playing right of front three where I'd never played before, and, and that sort of thing. And then um, I'd come away from from Run Corn, uh, and I needed a place to go, and that's how I ended up here because I rang up. Um, Robin. Obviously, oh, the area. Robin, but yeah. Vale and yeah, and I was here at under 16, so I knew yeah. Robin. Yeah. Yeah. So I rang him and I explained who I was. And to, to be quite honest, I don't think he recognised my name or my background at first. But he okay, put the phone down straight yeah. away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He does that to me yeah. sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe for a different reason. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm all right today. <laughs> no, he um, he ended up I think realising who I was, uh, and he said, "Yeah, we'll, we'll come. We'll have a look at you if you come down." And then ended up there for the uh, last seven games of the season. Mm -hmm. And then when Paul came in for the last three of us, um, I think Paul took took a liking to the bits that he'd seen of me, so I ended up staying on this year. So that's quite an interesting sort of situation, isn't it? Because obviously Robin had been managing the team for quite a long yeah, time, yeah. about five years or five and a bit, I think. Yeah. So you sort of come in at that time just as that transition was yeah, happening. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an uh, interesting time, I should imagine. It was, it was an interesting time, yeah. Because um, when I first come in, it's, we sort of just agreed that I'd come in and train and they'd have a look. Um, and it was so, they were really struggling, weren't they, at the end of last season? Yeah. It, was, it was cutting it fine. Uh, I think it was three games or four games that I was there when, when Robin was the gaffer. Yeah. Um, and it was, obviously, it was a tough time, but I think it was sort of, he might have felt like he couldn't have changed the team, he couldn't have thrown me in or, or something like that. So I was watching us struggle from the sides. Um, and then when when Paul came in, we had uh, he, he just adapted a, a bit of a different system. I ended up playing, and then we beat Leek away one nil and Trafford at home, which ended up keeping us up, didn't it? Yeah, it, it, yeah, it was. Uh, I, when I first walked in, I have to admit I was a little bit. I needed a place to play, obviously, but I was a little bit like, well, it's going to be a bit of a task, isn't it? Like, did you know any of the lads? Yeah, I knew. Uh, well, I knew Lewis Holdem and, and some of the other young lads, Max Mandelan and uh, stuff. Yeah, they, were, they were my year. Yeah. Well, so. then those names, well, that name in particular, because we weren't too sure who's like, Lewis Holden. Yeah. Lewis, so Louis Holden. Yeah. Lewis, well, Holden. Lewis Holden came to Vale for a bit, and we had. Because one of you yeah. don't wear like um, a blue armband all the time, so that <laughs> I don't get you. Because yeah, you both got blonde hair. Well. <laughs> yeah. Not struggle. I do struggle. <laughs> no, yeah, we had two more Lewises at, at Port Vale when Lewis was there, I don't know, but that's how I ended up getting Louis called Lewis all the time. Yeah, Louis yeah, Louis 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 yeah. Well, it's a bloody nightmare. You know what, I struggle, struggle with names, don't I, with Derbyshire, Lancashire and all yeah, this stuff yeah. as well. I mean, he's <laughs> so funny. Well, well, I don't mean to try that. <laughs> that's fine, I'll, I'll get there eventually. But, um, yeah, so interesting times, interesting times. Um, but do you see, for this season, obviously when you're, when you're right, you're back into the frame, and I know, in your head you are, 
Let's hope that you get those chances again soon. Do you see it being different this season? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think in, in pre-season, I've, I've said this to, to quite a few people when I was when they're asking me where I'm playing now and stuff, and it, it was in pre-season it started to things started to shape up and it looked like a really good setup. Obviously, they've got all the new stuff at Row Lane, new pitch and everything. Yeah. Um, got all new, pretty much all new set of players, um, new management staff. Just new everything. He, down, you know, down to Jace who does the kit. Yeah. You know, we're having our kit washed after training, and puts back in the box. All I have to do is turn up to training in my own gear, pick up my kit, and, and get that. Right. 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 Play, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's it's like, any turns to do the washing. It is little things. Well, though. It is little things that, that have made a difference. That you know, it makes it look like a, that we've got a yeah. really good setup going. Um, mm -hmm. And it's, it's a good base for a good group of lads that we've got to then kick on. Um, and I think we're starting to get that gel now, you know, the training, there's a good feel around and stuff. We've got a, we've got a good squad together, yeah. We noticed that we would have a train it was last week or the week before and it just seemed like a really good happy place. Yeah. Uh, the vibe was great between the lads. Yeah, honestly there's no there's then you turned out everyone was on a downer. <laughs> Dino was a press one Was he? <laughs> I think it's big time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, before, no, we go, before we go any further with the old pods, I never actually said we're actually we are here at one of our sponsors for the football club, of course, at Crossways yes. now. So we have to sponsor our goalkeeper, James McHenigan. So um, uh, they'll be wanting him to get back in the team soon, I expect. But we did have man of the match in one of their early games. He did yeah. have a man of the match at uh, with the Hensman, didn't he? Yeah, he was very good that day. He was very good. He did have a blindness. So that's where we are. So thanks again for hosting us, guys, here. Um, so, um, Louis, well, I want to get on to um, moments that you've experienced on the football pitch. So, someone said, uh, you know, you were more of a striker or more of a forward player you came on, you convert to being a defender. But um, one of your early experiences of being a defender, when you thought it'd be quite decent to show someone how to tackle, you wanted to be impressive, didn't, <laughs> didn't really go very well. Did it? So, perhaps you could just yes. sort of relay that story for us so, in all its glory. When I first when I first went to Port Vale, obviously I was I was a centre midfielder. Um, Andy Porter, who Sam was trying That's to sort of teach me. Andy Porter, for yeah. those of you who don't know who he is, he was trying to sort of teach me ways of of of, uh, of centre half or at least. He wanted Proper to play football, you know. Really, that was how it was yeah. sung to you. So, uh, <laughs> I think it was sort of if you're going to play at the back for me and you can't tackle, then that that's enough, yeah. yeah. And I couldn't tackle, I couldn't right. tackle, couldn't edit. Um, you couldn't and, tackle, you couldn't head it, yeah. Right, I'm surprised we're on the bloody field at all, yeah. to be honest. Couldn't tackle, couldn't edit, but his dad's a tall bloke, so oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 but um, no, yeah, so. I was struggling with me tackling in my head and every time in the car on the way home he'd be like, you're not getting stuck in enough, you're not tackling enough, yeah. you're not my son. You know, like, <laughs> 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 Disowned, disowned over a tackle. He's choking in the back of his head. He knows it, he knows it. We had, we had a home game one time, but I can't remember who it was we were playing. Um, I think I was either playing centre half or right back and there was a left winger who coming out with the ball on the yeah. counter attack and I'm sort of on the halfway line. Andy Port's 10 yards in front of me on the see that core, yeah, yeah, running yeah. down the halfway line I can see this lad coming I'm thinking right right in front of Andy big tackle you know I'll, yeah. I'll make him proud I'll show him what I'm made of and yeah, then, yeah. I can totally see this going well yeah, yeah. no exactly yeah. Yeah. so I was thinking right yeah I'm in, I'm in here good yeah. tackle ball was a bit loose so. it was 51-49 in your favour yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I didn't even say 60-40 to be honest I'd say it's a walk of the park really yeah. for anyone that could tackle so what and happened? then uh, my foot got stuck in the floor so I've gone head first and just Swan dived into the lad's legs and I'm just <laughs> as I'm on the floor with mud on my face and mud on my hands, I'm looking up like that and Andy's just like this. Yeah, and I was like, that was me, uh, I, was, I was gutted. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, really yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah. Who planted that story? <laughs> oh, I can't remember now, I must have heard it. <laughs> just a memory to be honest. But, uh, <laughs> but you survived the ordeal. Yeah. And yeah. Did you, have you ever made a tackle since then? Uh, yeah, one or two. We've one big tap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know how much you yeah, guys do that. What happened yeah. in that? Did the, 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 the guy go through and score? No, no, I took him out. Oh, you took him out? Yeah, he was over the touchline near him. Yeah. We, 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 <laughs> they took us all out together, I think. Everything but the ball. <laughs> well, that's way to get that yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. <laughs> brilliant stuff, brilliant stuff. So, look, I mean, um, obviously, we're, I've had some chats with your old man. Yeah. Bit, of, bit of a cat, bit yeah. of character. You're all right. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, he's uh, obviously he played a lot of serious cricket in his uh, uh, in his sort of professional time. Do like it was a professional time. Although professional is a loosely used word, I think, in some ways. <laughs> <laughs> um, cricket for you at all? Yeah, yeah, I grew up around cricket. Whole family loves cricket and we live mm -hmm. down the road from the cricket club. Um, this is old Trafford as well now, is it? Or <laughs> no, <that's... laughs> no Grappin' Old Cricket Grapple. Club. If, if ah, yeah, Grappin' yeah. um, But yeah, so I grew up playing cricket um, with my cousin and the rest of my family. But yeah, I just struggle to find the time for it in the summer nowadays, but yeah, cricket's, cricket's for me, yeah. There's a few there in the squad, we've had the Stipsy and Yeah, the, I the, the way that Kyle described his cricket and his footwork. <laughs> yeah, he said, I just go out there and hit sixes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's quite as simple as that, Kyle, to be honest. I think Lewis Holden plays a little bit, to be fair. Does he? Yeah, okay. he was on about it even a week. All oh, right, yeah. okay. Lots, lots of in the net. Yeah. <laughs> Get the old man with his medium pace trumpers out and say, I'll go with that. <laughs> yeah. Anything else at all? Any other sports you're interested in? Or? Uh, play a bit of golf every mm. now and then with my mate, so with my dad, yeah. You're a bit young for that, aren't you? Golf. Uh, golf. Oh, yeah. Come on. I, I, do, I do enjoy it, but it is, uh, you end up playing with blokes a lot of the time, yeah. Yeah. I'll be on the last. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, a bit of golf. Um, that's pretty much it, to be honest. To be honest, for sports, I like I like most sports, but don't play it. FIFA. Yeah, a bit of FIFA. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't find the time for it much anymore. But yeah, ultimate team, team or just a, yeah, a bit of ultimate team. Yeah, yeah. spend the fortune. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not my money. Though, not your money. Oh, oh, it was yeah. always his money. <laughs> 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 well, I should remind you, you're probably old enough to look after yourself now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's why I don't find the time. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's <laughs> not quite as stupid as he looks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Grandiose confines of outside the box at Crossways <laughs> um, uh, before the witness game. Oh, um, um, yeah, because uh, yesterday they lost at home to Handy. Yeah, like, I think before. it was a late late penalty. Late penalty. Yeah, yeah. So um, witness of the. I was writing in the preview for the game actually that they were really right down. Looked yeah. like they were gone. The sort of January last season, no, they yeah. had a bit of an incredible run to stay up. It yeah. looks like they're sort of carrying it on. So the league this season. Looks pretty competitive. Yeah, it's been an interesting start. Yeah. There's no. There's ups and down results, aren't there? There's, yeah. It's been really, really, really quite strange, yeah. But witness wouldn't, wouldn't of one of those teams that have had a bit of a mixed start, I think, yeah. So it'll be an interesting game to see. That's on the 3D, aren't they? Yeah. It's on the. Yeah. Well, strange, he's got the old rugby pitch, yeah. 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 It's a strange, it's strange place to go and watch football, really, in a way. Mm. But, um, what do you mean? Yeah. Near, near enough yeah. a home game for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. No, no. I didn't yeah. mean geographically. I mean, it's the, uh, as as in what it's usually used yeah, for, yeah. or most commonly used for. <laughs> so, but there we go. Yeah. So, um, what are your what are your hopes for this season, both for the team and from a personal point of view? I think for the team, I think I think to be to be quite to be quite honest, I don't think there's any um, any ceilings for this team. I think the league is, you know, there's no. There's no games where you're going into it thinking we are lucky to get a draw or something today. I think I think with the caliber of players that we've got, the lads that we've got, um, we should be looking to win to win a lot of games. Um, like I said earlier, we've got we've got a really good group, um, and I think that yeah, we just, if we get a bit of rhythm going up, you know, up until Christmas, get get a lot of points under our belt, and, you know. Playoffs is, isn't, a, isn't a long shot, no, not at all. Um, and for myself, I just think stay on the pitch, yeah. um, stay on the pitch, get minutes for myself, um, and do the best that I can to, to help the team. Yeah. One of the big things, obviously, just recently we got uh, brought in Dan Cockerline into the team, yeah, the, yeah. forward, this guy's got quite a lot of experience. Uh, knows, knows where the goal is, that's what goal yeah, yeah. So it's the key thing almost now is going to be getting that supply line. Yeah, because he's obviously got a, you know, he's done it before, yeah. so we know it's there. But that's the next thing, isn't it? Sort of. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing with Dan. Um, mm. 
Dan was from my Not just course. Dan, I mean, I'd be saying that because yeah. he's just joined. Yeah. But we've got talented forwards at the club. We've yeah. yeah. got people who can score. It's just, sure. it just needs almost, yeah. it almost feels like you get one or two and then it will start to come. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. You know, it's yeah. sort of like the damn thing, hopefully jump, about yeah. a burst. <laughs> yeah. No, I get what you mean. That's a, that's a fair assessment, yeah. But no, there's, there's Dan and there's, there's a Danny Edwards. There's, there's loads of lads and Berks I haven't played with Berks before. There's, there's loads of players that I'm looking forward to playing with and, um, like you said, get that supply in for that. Uh, somebody who knows where, knows where to go with. Yeah, it's, a, it's an exciting, uh, exciting group of lads to work with. Definitely. We've got a lot. We seem to have quite a decent squad down to this year. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We're going to have to start yeah. playing more with 11, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we turn up at training, oh, the gap will come up. I've got someone for you. I'm <laughs> excited. Yeah. I've got to go and have my tea. <laughs> just a minute, just a minute. <laughs> so, Joe, I mean, obviously, we were a bit sort of like, as I'm sure everyone was, very disappointed about going out really early in the cup of the trophy. Because they your two, your big ones who you want to go yeah. well in because they can give you a bit of shine the spotlight on the club house size because yeah. you're a small club at the end of the day. But, when it comes down to it, it's about the league, and then yeah. we've got to try and do whatever we can instead of being facing relegation battles all the time. We have to look at the other end. Of the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah everyone, everyone wants to do well in the courts, it's a given, isn't it? Everybody wants to do well in the, the FA trophies, they're, they're the main ones. But like you said, there's, there's an upside and a, a downside to it. And the upside is that we, you know, we're fully focused on the league now, it's just Saturday, 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 Saturday. So it's, it's for me personally, you know, it's. I see it as a positive like that because we were able to get a bit of rhythm now. You know, we train in the week. Don't have to think about you know Tuesday FA FA Trophy or FA Cup game. We can just go straight in onto the uh, into the Saturday league games. Yeah. We've got many Tuesday night games now. No, we? we're pretty through. Well, that. There might be a Monday night coming up soon. Yeah. There'll always be a battle at the end when we have like all the wet weather and yeah. Oh, yeah. freezing pictures kicks it. It's many games to play. In <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to be injury prone then. No. <laughs> so, um, I just forgot where I was going to go there. Go on, Martin, help me out here. Give us a question. Not what I want to go, what you want to go with. Tell me, who do, you, who do you most sort of enjoy playing with? What, what, what do you think? You know, who are the guys who get on with the pitch? Or off, off it as well? I get on well with everyone well off the pitch. Oh. Yeah. That's not true. That's not true. Yeah. No, no one likes that. No, the lads. The, lad, <laughs> the, young, the, <laughs> the young lads in the squad are the young lads in the squad, aren't they? Just, yeah. The young lads that end up uh, sticking together a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, but on you the pitch, you want to say you're not quite old enough to have enemies here. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you're not tackling enough people. No, I'm not. That's I'm the not. thing. <laughs> yeah. Remember what Andy Porter told yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, there's somebody we really like playing playing alongside. To be fair, is Josh Jordan. Since he's since he's come in, he's, he's been mm. dead solid. Um, and I've enjoyed playing alongside him because I know that he's he's going to be there when I need him. Um, and other than that, I've only played one game in the league. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. The season yeah. to uh, <laughs> to be able to tell who I enjoy playing with. Yeah, but that's, uh, that's, that's, that's another that stupid question of mine. Put in the bank. <laughs> that's all we're, we're, we're all the league teammates, Josh. Yes, are we? Yeah, no, we felt, yeah, we did have this little feature where we invite <laughs> someone to sort of put everybody down. But um, <laughs> might talk about it. Yeah, we'll do a little bit later on in the yeah, season, I think. So, so yeah. we'll, uh, we'll get back here so, at some point. So, so to come back yeah. to see if our little informant can give us any sort of further information <laughs> yes. as well. What about um, um, supporting wise as a young, who was your club? Oh, Liverpool. Liverpool. Well, yeah. you say that as if it should be everyone's club. <laughs> 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 no, it, in Warrington, it's. When I was in school, it was either Liverpool or you United. Right. The odd City fan, the odd Everton fan, but it was mostly Liverpool or United. Right, yeah, yeah. You're, uh, either side of the town, aren't you? So. Right, yeah, yeah, they're not been too bad this year so far. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Not a bad start. We got it's an exciting, exciting squad as well, Liverpool. So. Yeah. What about the Catholics? I was. You've been there for a while, now, haven't you, Klopp? So about seven years, I think. Yeah. I was wondering whether he's going to start to think. I've done my little bit here, but it looks like it's been regenerating. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think Klopp will be going anywhere. I think he'll stay for two or three more years, I reckon, at least. Yeah. There was talk of Germany coming in for him. 
and yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's not yeah. sure about that's been. Coming in for Louis, he's kind of yeah. Yeah. He's English. Oh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> what, what were you thinking? Well, it's a big league. <laughs> big big, 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 big Castle Town for the German national yeah. title. Yeah. That's well, the league. Having said that, who's that lad? Uh, is he at Cables? Was he at Prescott Cables? We ended up going to find him. He's that bloke who hit Cables. Yeah, there was, a, there, was a, there was a player, I think he was at Prescott Cables, who ended up going to buy me the Phoenix reserve team. I can't remember. We're going to have to check that one out. Might have to check that one out. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. no, that's, that's true. Right. Prescott Cables to buy him, isn't it? I think, don't quote me on it, because I know, he, I know he, he was last at Prescott Cables, but he did go from somewhere. Trump here. Yeah, oh, Chan Mayer, sorry, Chan Mayer. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, Chan it's Chan just been looked up by someone that's in the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it was Chan Mayer. Yeah, yeah Chan Mayer to Bayern Munich, so. Yeah, don't don't nice. write it off, mate. You know no, no, no. So, yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Chris Birch, so yeah, we got, we got, we got, we got, we got, we got, yeah, so you're gonna be, are we going to be looking at some, see if you've got any sort of like ancestry and you know, <laughs> yeah. sort of, of no, 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 this is all stuff that no. quite qualifies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of Northern Irish that, that, um, that I qualify for, but... A bit of Northern that, Irish? Yeah, my granddad's, my granddad's from Northern Ireland. Right. Down, so. Okay. Right. You know, if they, if they were... So you're playing for Wales? Yeah, I, no, I played for Wales because I was in higher education in Wales. Ah. So I was eligible there, yeah. So. Right. Yeah. But by blood, yeah, no, no. The UK is your oyster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, well, Louis, um, thank you very much for tonight. It's been very enjoyable yeah. having you on the pod. Absolutely. Um, and we wish you well for the rest of the season. We hope that that injury sort of um, clears away. As you'll say, it seems like it's clear anyway. So, um, you know, keep training, keep working hard, and we hope to see you back on the team soon. Yeah, hope so, yeah. Thanks, Thanks for coming on. Yes, just like it. Thank you very much.